after coming into Vrindavan, 1974 I joined. And the way in which we've spent, you have seen a few of these photographs um, um, earlier also. There was a scrolling which went, the connection between Swami and, and the students are something which nobody can say. And now in retrospect I feel, for Swami's 50th birthday, some of us, all the boys who, boys who were there in Vrindavan at that point of time, we told Swami, Swami, for your 50th birthday, 1975 was Swami's 50th birthday, Second World Conference was to occur. So we told Swami we would like to have an offering at your lotus feet. Swami said, okay. Then we told him, Swami, we would like to write essays, put, publish it as a book, and offer it at your lotus feet. Swami, those days, for nine months in a year, for nine months in a year, he used to stay in Vrindavan, and only during festivals, for festivals he used to go. So, we got, came out with a book, Hrudaya Vrindavan. That is the name of the, uh, that was the title of that, Hrudaya Vrindavan. The next day, we, a few of us wrote a, about 20 titles and showed it to Swami. Swami, Swami picked up over 15 or 16 and said, e, e Chayendra, on this you write, the articles. <clears throat> and then the topic which Swami gave me was the days of my youth, the days of my glory. He asked me to write on that topic, the days of my youth, the days of my glory. And for that starting of that article, I wrote a poem which even now as I think of that poem, I feel that it holds good for all of us for all times to come. Not only for the students, but for all the devotees. The poem runs something like this. In the daylight of his splendorous glory, in the daylight of his splendorous glory, his means Swami's, in the daylight of his splendorous glory, in the esoteric night of his inscrutable reality, in the mid-hanging twilight of his serene beautitude, in the pulsating throb of his listful laugh, and in the green foliage of his melodious symphony, we, we means the students, we dance in aesthetic joy to the tune of his divine melody. It is not hyperbolic. Based on my own experiences for that one, one and a half year, I wrote that. And now as I sit and think, and as I ruminate, in the run-up to this program, one of the thoughts I was thinking was, how do I summarize my student life? I think there is no better way to summarize than this particular thing. I just would like to repeat it, and I think Swami has made us live every word of what I have said. And the proof of that came when Swami Swami went one month before uh, that uh, uh, birthday celebrations to Puttaparthi. Before going, the book was ready, we gave the book to him. Swami opened a few pages here and there, a few of us were there on, he said. Then he opened my this thing, Bhagarastivira, he said. Bhagarastivira means you wrote well. So the poem is, and I mark my words, these things I am sure if you ruminate over, this would hold good universally for all our students. The, the poem, I'll just repeat it for the sake of repetition and then tie, uh, tell the other, a few of my other experience. In the daylight of his splendorous glory, in the esoteric night of his inscrutable reality, in the mid-hanging twilight of his serene beautitude, in the pulsating throb of his listful laugh, and in the green foliage of his melodious symphony, we dance in aesthetic joy to the tune of his divine melody. This is absolutely true. If only it, it will be true for all the devotees if only you were to close your eyes and ruminate upon it.